gentleman from Virginia seek recognition? Without objection, so ordered. Well, Mr. Speaker, yesterday was the three-month anniversary of the terrorist attack in Benghazi, Libya, where four American lives were tragically lost, including U.S. Ambassador Chris Stevens. To date, none of the terrorists have been brought to justice. In fact, in the months to follow the attack, the Tunisian government blocked the FBI from interviewing the only known detained suspect in the attack, a Tunisian man named Ali Harzai. The FBI team has been there for five weeks and they will not make him available. Since January of 2011, the U.S. has given more than 320 million taxpayer dollars to Tunisia. I rise to ask that all U.S. aid to Tunisia be immediately cut off in light of the countries blocking the FBI's attempt to investigate the attack and interview Harzai. Why are we giving any sort of aid to a country that has proven at this time and is no friend or ally of the United States? Why are we not doing everything in our power to investigate the events in Benghazi that killed four Americans. Should Secretary Clinton fail to cut off aid to Tunisia, I will take legislative action to cut off the aid to Tunisia. I yield back the balance. Time of the gentleman's expired. For what purpose the gentleman from Washington seek recognition? Without objection, so order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to recognize the outstanding service of Jay Johnson, General Counsel of the Department of